Hello and welcome to this video on how to get a uh, how to get an actor's component to bob up and down. Now this is going to be a very very short video to demonstrate it. I am using the base character class in this instance so that I can uh, create this effect. I've added in a child skeletal mesh which I am making bob up and down like this. So let me show you how this is done. Okay, so what if you look at my viewport here, you can see that I have um, a skeletal mesh which is childed off of a scene component. I'm not using the main mesh at this point, I'm just using this skeletal mesh. Now this is uh, this is, I am going to store the location, starting location of this, and then on tick, I am going to add and minus from the relative Z coordinates. So I can show you it here. So the first thing is, on begin play, I have stored the uh, starting relative offset of the draw. So I've taken the skeletal mesh, I've grabbed its relative location and I've saved that to a variable. Now on tick, on the tick, tick fires off on every frame of the game. So this is going to update the, the relative location of the drone on every frame. And now in order to get this effect, what I have done is I have dragged in the, I have dragged in the, I got the relative offset from the variable. I have then grabbed a reference to the skeletal mesh and I have, um, and I am setting its relative location. Now I have split this relative location. And I'll show you quickly how that is done. So if you look here, when you first grab this node, you will have a yellow vector pin. However, I want to do each of these variables individually. So if I split those, it's going to give me three green floats. And I will connect each of these up and only on the Z am I going to plus something to it. So I will connect that up like this. Now, when I'm plussing to the Z, I'm going to use this calculation down here. Now, I'm getting the time since creation. So this is useful so that I have a number which is up ticking. Um, I'm then going to times it by a variable that I've added in, the bobbing speed. Now, this I have set to 150. Um, but you can vary that depending on if you want it faster or slower. I have then funneled the output of this through a sine wave. So I've grabbed this sin D and if you are looking for that right hand click and type in sin and we're looking for degrees. Now this will, this will take in the input and return a sine wave. Now, a sine wave is going to be between 1 and minus 1, going in a, uh, in a, in a curve wave. Now, this will give me my, my up and down. Now, this itself is too small because it will be between 0 and 1. So I am timesing it by 30 in order to get, uh, to get that movement. So that is then times and added to the Z location. And that gives us this effect. I will place this piece of code in the uh, in the description so you guys can just grab it if need be. Uh, and here is the example. Now from the print string on the left hand side you should be able to see that the numbers are going between minus 30 and plus 30, thus creating this effect. Okay, thank you very much guys, bye.